I'm Lori and we're gonna do some 3D cream foundation. Ladies, if you have mature skin, if you're 40 plus, you're going to love this makeup. It is so different. If you have not tried this, you have got to try it and I would love to help you. So let me just get my hair pulled back. Okay, so here is my palette. We have different size palettes and because it's cream, it's just so good for your mature skin. It's going to really make you feel beautiful again. I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to start by contouring. This is my contour. This is a main highlight. Um, this is a lip and cheek. This is an illuminator. This is a brightening highlight and this is my bronzer. Okay. So you can have as much or as little. We have smaller pal palettes. We have larger palettes. Okay. So the contour goes under your cheeks. It's going to be creating shadows and this does have coverage. You could put your main color all over first and then go in and contour and brighten. That's up to you, but I'm going to show you how to do it this way first. So you're going to go right under that cheekbone and then go up, blend up. We never want to bring that down. Okay. You're going to tap this into the makeup. You don't need much. It's very buildable and it's almost impossible to really mess up. Okay. You apply it and blend up and we're going to go back in and blend it all later because the more it sits on your face, it warms it up anyway, and it can blend. It's easier to blend after it has been sitting a bit. You can really do it either way. Okay, so this is going to go all the way down here. Let's take a look at this. So see how we're just creating a shadow. It's going to make our uh, eyes and the center of our face pop forward. Put it up into your hairline. Okay, now we're going to go on the jawline. So you just follow your jawline. You can use any of our brushes. These brushes were made for this makeup. They are amazing and they're all dual ended. Okay, so see how we're just kind of creating a shadow, giving our face more depth dimension and kind of sculpting a little bit. So you can take it and you can put it here. You can line your lips with it, put a little here and a little here. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my main color. I'm gonna go around that contour and you, can kind of do this here, but you gotta be careful. You mainly want it to tap it in and tap it onto your skin and then blend after. So I'm going around the contour. I'm not gonna go under my eyes with this, okay? You're gonna wanna make sure you leave that area out. If you have a color corrector color, that's okay. In fact, I can show you how to do that if I see my color corrector around here somewhere. I do like to kind of go like that, usually there, make sure we're getting enough on, but not too much. I'm gonna actually go ahead and do the whole nose because my nose gets red. And then usually just a little bit here. Sometimes I just do the contour and the brightener, but put a little bit here. So see how that just evens everything out? It's just so pretty. And because it's cream, it moves with your skin and it's not going to settle during the day. It's just so gorgeous. I'm going to flip the brush over. This is my brightening highlight. You want to place this between your eyes, like this little triangle here. I usually feather it out to about the middle of my brow. And again, after I do all get it placed, I'm going to go and uh, blend it out and then also grab my beauty blender. Okay, so you want you can just go right under that contour just to give it a little more pop optional see isn't that so pretty okay so then you're going to go under your eyes all right you're going to swipe it here and then here now i did do my eyes obviously so see how that cleans up my eye shadow how pretty that is and it gives you a lift if you take it and go up here like this just look at that it gives you a lifted look and that's why we go up like this. I'm gonna do that with my um, cheek color also. So just very lightly kind of feather it down a little bit, hit this area and then whatever's left on your brush, very gently in between tap and stipple. And be super careful in that area. We don't want to accentuate our wrinkles too much. We just want to brighten okay so let's just say you want to color correct a little bit really anywhere but i'm going to do under my eye this is frenchy it's a lip and cheek color it's really good at concealing dark so what you want to do is just put it right where the dark area is you don't want to put it all over uh, unless you have darkness everywhere let me take a look okay so you would do that 
right there, tap it in, and then take your brightener and do the same thing, but just be super gentle, like tap it so that you're not swiping away the Frenchie. And a lot of times I need one. I usually use mango, I don't see it right now. It's a um, highlight color. But Frenchie is a lip and cheek color. It works also for dark colors under the eye. So now we're gonna contour our nose. It's really easy if you take two fingers, it doesn't matter which two, and just go down like that. And then you're gonna take it up and it might look a little heavy, that's okay. I usually put it on my fingers, rub them together, and then blend it after. And then take the brightener right in the very center. Just go down like that, and it can kind of meet that brightener up there. Okay, so when you blend this, you wanna blend it super carefully, very lightly. And you can put it some under here across the top. I've seen people do lots of different things, kind of play with it to see what you like. And it's just gonna kind of narrow the look of your nose. So then if you want, you can take a little bit here of your brightener, a little bit here. And now we're going to just blend that out a little bit. And then we're going to go in with the lip and cheek. So today I have plum. Plum and nude are very versatile. This is plum. I like to just place a few dots right on my cheeks. One, two, three, or four, and see how you like it. And if you want to blend some more, you can do that. I'm gonna pick up the blush and bronzer brush now and just very lightly, and we're gonna go up like this, okay? You wanna blend it up and it lifts the look of your face. Look at that, a mini facelift. Okay, so gently blend it in. Now, sometimes I just put everything on first and then go blend, and sometimes I blend as I go and then still go back in. It's just so versatile, and you'll figure out what really works best for you and how you like to do it. I'm gonna put some of that on my lips. And then I'm gonna take the small end of this brush here and just line my lips. Okay, so we've got our contour, brightening highlight, main highlight. I'm just gonna tap this in all over a bit with this brush just to make sure I have it like I want it. And then I'm gonna put some bronzer on, okay? And you can, um, you know, go down here with your contour a little bit if you want. A lot of people do bronzer. Let's see how this is looking. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how to take some bronzer and put it on at this point. You could put it on with the uh, cheek color and blend or before, but either way, it always works out really beautiful. So you're gonna just tap it in there and you're just gonna swirl it on, okay? This is bronzer. And then you can just get as much or as little as you want you're gonna put it like where the sun would hit your face. So like here, just swirl it. Like that. And it just really warms your face up. This is Bella, we also have tan lines, we have palm, we have heat waves, it's gorgeous, so pretty. Bella is my go-to, but I love all the other ones too. See how that looks, isn't that just gorgeous? And you can just add as much as you want. I see some people really like to bronze up that perimeter like that. I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and just tap everywhere. You get it wet, you squeeze it out. Not even, I squeeze it out and then also just squeeze it a little bit in a towel as well because you just want it barely damp. If it's wet, it's gonna take your makeup off and we don't want that. Let's make sure you go under those eyes really well. Another thing you can do is take your contour and kind of go after you're done, like right under your lash line there. And it really helps soften that look, opens your eye up some more. It kind of hides this one wrinkle that we get a lot right there. <laughs> helps hide it anyway. All we can do is just work with what we've got. We're not trying to get rid of anything because that's not gonna work. But there's so many little things we can do just to bring light to our face. And um, this cream makeup is just so gorgeous. It's just like nothing you've ever seen it is the best makeup I've ever used hands down. Nothing is even close. And I also lined my brows with this palette, by the way. I used my contour. The next step is Illuminator. This is Pearl. So here's some of the things you can do with Illuminator. The first thing is just right on that high point of your cheek. Sometimes I grab this little brush and just lightly. We have some powder ones too that are gorgeous. This is a cream. Use as much or as little as you want. 
put it on the tip of your nose and up. If you want to just put it on the tip, that's fine. Right under that brow bone and spread it out a bit. Do the other side. And I'll show you how you can apply it with the brush also. Just kind of get going. And then your Cupid's bow, just like this. Just look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? Look at it. It just, oh my gosh, I love Illuminator so much. I just love this makeup so much. It is such a confidence boost. It really works with your skin and it just gives you your confidence back, just hands down, um, because getting older can, it can be tough. It comes with its challenges, right? Um, and our skin changes, it, the texture of it changes. We get more discoloration areas, um, you know, just between aging in general, environment, loss of collagen, all of that. Hormone, did I say hormones? Hormones. <laughs> so this just really, Gives you a youthful glow. It doesn't even have many ingredients in it. So I'm a very sensitive person. I don't know about you, but. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I'm going to use a setting spray now. I'm actually gonna spray this right on today. This is the NYX Radiant Finish. So here we go. I'm gonna use a generous amount. And there you have it. I mean, look at that. All done. Dewy Glow. You're gonna love this makeup so much. It is so fast and easy. If you are interested in trying this makeup, you can send me a message or you can go to my bio and fill out the color match form. Um, the shopping link is also on my bio if you would like to check that out, but I would love to color match you guys because it is my passion seeing other women experience the magic of this makeup and what it can do for your confidence. You're gonna love the way it looks but more importantly, you're gonna love the way it makes you feel. So I'll be looking for your color match. I would love to talk to you and help you get started with this makeup.